Greetings and salutations, people. Welcome back to the channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. This is going to be my review and recap of Chasing Atlanta Forever, Season 6, Episode 5. I ain't started watching this yet. I'm about to turn it on so we can watch it and see what happens. You know, uh, the last episode, I think there was an altercation. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm trying to multitask. And be done with this no later than like 2.15. It's like 1.27 now. But I have packages. I don't know. If you can, hold on, I'll show you. Can you see the packages? The packages. The packages. I'm waiting. My bed frame should be here Sunday. And then we will be off. Now listen. I had to wait for my insurance check from the moving company first. But I ordered a new bed frame, so that'll be here by Sunday. And then new comforter set, new bed, who this? So that's what we're doing there. Um, but yeah, we're going to watch the episode, and I'm going to open packages, and we're going to see what's what, okay? Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, all right. Listen, I don't watch half the episode. I forgot I was supposed to be doing a review. I done opened boxes, installed a new shower head, tried on two dresses, all of the things. Okay, let me let me get my mind back to right about what was happening in this particular episode. So we started out with baby girl. She done invited the people to one of her performances. Seven done invited the people to her performance. Um I don't know why J Twan get to seem all that positive about this whole situation. I don't know why there would be a particular issue in between Seven and J. Tuan, but they were explaining how the situation with Wayne and, and Kendra and Wayne posted some video and him and Neek not getting along and... Um, all of these things were happening. And so there was an issue at the airport. They wouldn't let Berlin get on the plane because she female presenting. Um, but I'm assuming her, I, I, they had an issue. Uh, there may be, I guess, an issue with her ID versus how she physically presents. And so I don't know if they thought she was trying to impersonate somebody and use somebody else's ID which could happen when if you don't look nothing like your ID, your ID says that you are a boy, but that's not how you're presenting. So I don't, I don't know. Um, but there was an issue and they said Wayne, they called Wayne who was already on the plane and he didn't seem concerned or get off the plane with them and da 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 da, da uh, all of these things. And so um, probably because he, Either he didn't have insurance on his ticket to be able to change his ticket with no issue, especially but there was not an issue where he, he would he would possibly lose out on the money, you know. So I, I I don't really know what happened or why it happened in the manner in which it did, but it is clearly causing the issue. And then is it I don't know. We need I need more information about what happened. Cause I I like it. See, I don't know. Some something else is, is going on there. And then um, they talk about how the baby said he was maliciously maligned, and everybody was like, "Wait, what? He was what?" And Tonka is over it. He's oh, he's he's clearly over it. Um, they meet at the park. We meet Seventh Mama. Um, she hugged and kissed everybody. She said she was going to. Pensacola, I think. Is that where she said she was going? She's on somewhere in Florida, I think, for a performance, if I'm not mistaken. So a little shade thrown between Seven and Tonka about being booked, and she only books talent. And it was like, well, clearly, how did you get booked if they only book talent? It was a lot of that. Um, then Tonka is in the studio doing it up, and the baby comes to see him. J.L. Moore comes to see him. And it's it's a lot. It's, and they talk about, and he talks about the issue with King K. And everybody's like, he's really, he's dragging it. And it's, and it's over-dramatized. And 
And his confessionals, Tonka's like, well, no, I don't, I don't do all of that. No, we going we going we got to shift gears into the next level and you need to say whatever the issue is and then proceed to move on. So we're going to see how that goes. Then uh, King K met with this young lady who was helping him get his LLC, his business uh, dealings and, and things of that nature together as he moves forward in the next step of his entrepreneurship, which seemed very, very important. Um, yeah, that's what I got so far. This has been a cute episode. I haven't cried, which is a plus. Still half of the episode to go. We're going to see what happens. Let's move on, shall we? I'm confused a little bit. So Troy and J. Twan have a little sit down. And J. Twan is saying that he feels like um, that he and what's the name? And Troy was freaking frack before Troy and Dominique. Well, he the original freak to his frack is what he's saying. And Troy is like, oh, well, nobody told me nothing, Jesus. I don't, what? No. Oh, is that what you think, Frank? Okay, make a question. And so, right, so, um, and he says he feels like his feelings was hurt because when Troy was doing his show on YouTube and had Andario and another, I guess somebody else who was producing at the time. I don't know who the other person was because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't look up um, about who can't never come back to the cast. And I guess we were born were mentioned that particular time. Apparently I can't do two things at one time. I can't light the candle and talk. Oh. Shout out to my fire. Um, so Troy was 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 confused. It's just he was just as much as confused as I was. I was like, wait, what? And so I don't they they seem to be on good terms right now. But knowing that baby, he 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 tend to he go off and he's like a powder keg. You never you gotta be careful. You gotta walk on tiptoes because you never know when that baby gonna go the hell off, and then you looking up in the face. So, there's that. Also, um, Jay Amore and Dominique sit down and have a conversation, and they're talking about Wayne, and there's a pool party coming up, and Dominique's talking about his feelings was really hurt because he thought they was on a good, I guess, even kill before the altercation and stuff. But I don't, mm -hmm. hopefully everybody knows how that they're not going to act right. With King Kane and the Wayne issue and all of the things that are happening, it's going to be a problem. I already I can feel it coming. It's going to be. It's gonna be a problem. So we're gonna see. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see what happens. I feel like there's gonna be arguments and maybe more fisticuffs. I feel like this is based on a bunch of nothing. But who is me? I don't know. We're gonna see. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all feel like all of the disagreements and non-conformingness of everything is is unnecessary? Or am I tripping? Let me know. So, so much happened, Jesus Christ. So much happened, so much happens. Oh my God, so much, so much just happened. Oh my God. Oh my God, I have never seen Tonka like, oh my, he's such a lovely person. Oh my God. All right, let's 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 start a pool party. Rooftop pool. Oliver is the host. He's the party promoter, getting paid, event, come to the thing. Bring your dicks, bring your bikinis, all of the things. First venue, uh-uh, cancel. Second venue, unauthorized, you're not doing it here, cancel. 
Had to go to a third venue spot. We finally good. The DJ is here, still calling it a rooftop, but there is no roof and or no top at this party. Right? So everybody's there. King Kang is there. We have uh, uh, an appearance by our good sis Jayla from Chasing LA. Hey, boo. I don't know what you was doing in Atlanta, but okay, fine. They talk about how uh, Oliver wants to know what happened to the record that he went to LA to get on with Jayla to diss Nicole. I don't understand why that happened, but okay, fine. Um, So they doing their thing. And then we get into the shenanigans with Kane, Troy, and Neek. Um, I don't know, but Neek told King Kane that he wasn't his. Well, they, well, okay, so let's start here. Kane said he doesn't remember anything that happened at the toy party because he was intoxicated, which absolutely can be true. Absolutely can be true. If they was drinking, they they had edibles and they had libations, so he could have shifted left and blacked out, and he don't remember what was said. But everybody else wasn't drunk, and there was cameras there, so everybody else knows what he said. You said that he was maliciously maligned, and then he said he was hurt to his core when you said ba 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 ba. And first of all, I want to say Berlin took me down when he said I was hurt to my core, and she was like, "To your core." She said, she looked to your core. <laughs> Tickle, you hear me? I was tickled. You hear me? Tickle. Child, and then it was like, it seemed very clicky. And I, I don't know if, I don't know. This just, it was, it was a lot happening. And they going back and forth about who said what to whom and who said what. And if he said they was fake friends and then Dominique said, well, you're not really my friend. He was like, and so we're not real friends. We're not real friends. You told me all the business. And then uh, Troy was like, look, if we go, let the truth be told, you was talking about more than just us two. You was talking about who you fucking and da 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 who you had sex with or whatever, whatever. And that's when I became Oliver because I was looking like, Nigga, what? Because clearly he and Oliver both said they did it. So clearly King K had been talking about that he did it with Oliver. So, hey, woo, woo. And then they get raised voices and King, they try to remove King Kane from the situation. And so he's still over there talking about I was hurt to my core. I was maliciously maligned. All of the things. And then his confession though, he said he's been here before everybody so they can just bow down because he the king and fuck y'all and y'all know what y'all talking about. So then Tonka is falling down. My husband, he's trying to get King Kane to calm down. He was like, you know, you just it doesn't have to be this way. You know, just breathe and relax it. So King Kane is in his get hard, standing in his get hard, talk about going over there with your fake friends. And Tonka, the look on Tonka's face. The look on Tonka's face. Tonka was like, who is this motherfucker? I know he's not talking to me. He's not talking to me. He not motherfucking talking to me. That's how it kind of escalated. Now, Rico tried to bring him back in, but he said, oh, no. He's like, I'm going to have to jack this motherfucker up, so let him know who the fuck I am. I said, and then proceeded to do just that. He, when I say the dominance bloomed from the center of his chest, and when I say he switched, that because Tonka is a switch, because nine times out of ten he's giving you very submissive bottom energy. But when I say when I say the dom bloomed up out of that nigga, and he jacked up King Kane and co- said, "Now nigga, I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to, but you need to calm down." And right now, I, and King K immediately submitted to the dominance. He was like, "Yeah, okay, I, I'm gonna calm down." Okay, daddy. Come on. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Yes. Open it. You open the door. Hi, Cootie. You have a good day at school? 
Say hi to the people. Hi, people. Okay. All right, you good? Ah! Okay, bra. Go, go play. Change out of your school clothes. Da. Okay. Da. Yes. Da. Uh, yes. Meanwhile, all right. I love you. Stop. Oh. Sorry. Stop touching things. I love you. Goodbye. Go mm -hmm. change out of your clothes. You smell like outside. <laughs> <laughs> I smell <outside>. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I forgot where I was, but that's how the episode ended. This was cute. Thank you, Andario, for not making me cry. I appreciate it. I think this is the end. I think this is the end. Yeah, there's like a minute left, so I, this is the end. That's how the episode ended. Please, sirs and ma'ams, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a kid. You're down. The comments was your favorite part of the episode. Let's chit chat, and I will see y'all tonight at seven at Really B's channel, so we can talk about this. Until then. Peace out. Goodbye, people. <laughs>